Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for newcomers. My name is Didi. I have an amazing view. I'm going to share the view, guys. Check the view. Beautiful. Like all over the sea. And we are staying in this apartment for, uh, I think, another week, and then we will move to another house here in Lagos. To the opposite of the beach bar today on saturday i wish you an amazing weekend a short ta of the Bitcoin. yes i wasn't there for the last three days because of the funeral of my grandma but now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you show you um, what i see on the charts guys let's quickly jump there back. Here. This is the first chart. I'm gonna stop my phone from making noise. Um, we have uh, arrived on the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see this beautiful movement in Bitcoin to the top of that Bollinger band, that blue band. It is still a very small band, it's not wide. So we can explode out of this to the top or to the bottom. Uh, it looks like Bitcoin wants to break to the top. You can see the band band was indicating a lot of green triangles, and then we got that green flag above the yellow stepping line uh, we saw a lot of green hills the blue was going it uh, was disappearing and the bam bam was already crossed the white line and the white line at the moment is 57 to um, remind you we were in the bullish periods at a level of 80 with the white line so we can easily climb with that white line and the blue line now uh, for me um, if we would break that Bollinger Band, the target, of course, would be here, 22,600 US dollar, which would be an amazing target and would be in line with all this area of resistance that we see here. We need to break this resistance first before we can talk about levels uh, of 24, 25,000 US dollar. Now, let's zoom out a little bit. If we zoom out a little bit, we can uh, take a look at the day chart. And in the day chart, we see that that orange line over here, the 19,666, uh, was kind of support on the day chart. Yes, we had a huge wake all the way to 17,800, uh, 17,500, sorry. Um, but that wake was not uh, closing the candle. The ca candle close was above that orange line. And from there, we see a bounce. We have seen this pattern way more often often before and every time when we saw these kinds of patterns and um, we reversed like you, you remember this COVID dip over here here there was the line and um, if you would draw the line over here like something like this we found support on the daily um, above that line but we had a huge wick and it was this area of support that we were building over there that we came back to wicked below it and then bam v-shape recovery now that is what we are seeing now the beginning of a v-shape recovery and we can see the macd here on the bottom yes we are turning slowly green the blue line is crossing the red line to the top which is positive um, it's not an explosive move but guys we are trying to come up again and uh, what is the target yes like i said <laughs> it would be amazing if you break the 22k this area over here but then that green line of course will be a huge line of resistance 27,700. so um for me if you are in the long that would be my take profit over there now if we zoom a little bit more out to the weekly on the weekly we can see even better like <laughs> we haven't seen this shitload of red candles um on the weekly like in in many years I, I think never we haven't seen one two three four five six seven eight nine red candles and a green one which also like is almost red 10 11 12 red candles in a row we need a green candle this is normal in ta we can't only go down so this green candle is being built in one day and 17 hours we are going to close this candle are we going to close above that red line 22,500? that would be amazing because that would mean that we are closing above the 200 weekly moving average or is the 200 weekly moving average going to be resistance and are we going to visit that 300 one more time because we didn't touch it yet that's what we can see um, and that's the things that can happen with this weekly yeah we can touch it over there or we can come down or we could break you know that's all possibilities don't look into the future we don't have a glass ball we can see that this one is still colored red um, and if you look back we need to wait for this blue circle that's the buy circle that's the moment that most people will buy you know i'm already buying because i know that we will have a blue circle in the future so i buy a little bit cheaper already now 
that was already cool now do we have some more charts yes we have some more charts over them here this is the first one i found this one on twitter and i really liked the chart why did i like the chart just check it how cool is this chart this is bitcoin measured in united states dollars divided by the sum of united states dollar m3 money supply and the eurozone dollarized m3 money supply and um, every time when we come here this is a major bottom you know we have these global tops the pre-global top then the global top and then the major bottom and in between you have some more phases but again here a pre-global top the global top and then we get a major bottom now is this the free global top and was that the top there's an airplane crossing hopefully dropping some bitcoin shipments over here ledgers full on the beach well, it's a good opening action for my bar isn't it like ledgers dropping out of the sky and now <laughs> pre global top and then we have this glow is this the global top or what is this over here should it be a top and are we going to see a major bottom over here there's a lot of questions but if we look back in history, this should be a point that the Bitcoin price is going to reverse because it did over there, it did over there, it did over there, it did over there. So why shouldn't it do it over here? This is an indication to buy in my opinion. And that is what you see a little bit more clear on this chart, guys. On this chart, um, you can see the rainbow price chart, guys. And the rainbow price charts, every color tells you something. Eh? This, this your dark red is the maximum bubble territory. And then we have a sell territory and a FOMO. And we is it a bubble huddle. And the best way and the best color to buy Bitcoin, that's what I need to say, is here. The dark blue. Basically, it's a fire sale. Just check the chart where we are at the moment. We are in dark blue. Have you been there before? Yes, we've been there before over there. Was that a good moment to buy? Yes, it was one of the best moments to buy. Was this a good moment to buy? Yes, it was one of the best moments to buy. Was this long period of almost two years a good moment to buy? Yes, it was a perfect moment to buy and over here as well. So this dark blue is a good moment to start to buy into bitcoin dollar cost average everything you earn into bitcoin and then at the end when we arrive again at the darkish red or maybe next time again at the orange then you start selling a little bit and are we, are we going higher sell a little bit more and do we go to the dark red you sell everything and then you buy back at that blue that will make your life a little more simple and a little bit more less a little bit less stressed yeah less stressed i should say really. um that was a short ta update on this beautiful saturday guys i'm going to make some more walk and talk videos because i experienced something really strange yesterday but again for me was a confirmation why bitcoin is going to be very important in the future for you but also for me now um that was really everything if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification leave a comment uh, and tell me diddy you should make more videos about this or about that because I need some inspiration what kind of videos to make. Um, they need to be walking on the beach or in nature because, yes, I want to move around instead of sitting behind my laptop. Now, that was everything. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Wish you an amazing Saturday and zoom out, zoom out, zoom, zoom, zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in in life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and goodbye.